Raz, dzień dobry, hello. All right. <laughs> you good? I'm good, but yeah, how about you? I mean, back in Las Vegas, the last time you were here, good things happened, right? Are you, are you getting good vibes being back in this building? Of course, you know, it's uh, good memories from this place. Uh, always I feel good in Vegas. Only one time I feel bad here. Uh, but now I do, don't do the same mistake. I come here three weeks before fight to catch the time zone, catch climate, everything. So finish my camp here. And I'm ready, you know, happy, ready. My breath is good, you know. Uh, I sleep very well, so I'm just ready for Saturday. Obviously, you were supposed to fight in March and you got injured, and we hear that you were temporarily paralyzed. I mean, that sounds horrible, and yet here you are two months later. I guess, can you tell us how you're feeling now? I mean, I know you're not going to sit here and be like, yeah, John, my neck's terrible, but I mean, it seems crazy that two months later you could be fighting. Was there any thought of delaying this further? Uh, you know, <clears throat> well, yeah, when I feel this, when I, my left side of body was completely, you know, paralyzed for one minute, I think they have since some heart attack or something like this, I don't know what is it. Uh, I was scary. I don't know what's happened. I go to doctor. Uh, we do MRI from my neck, and they say that there's something in my neck put a lot of pressure on my nerve. And when someone just hit me light on the head, so then I don't. Then there was this kind of feeling. Yeah. Uh, so they put some medicine inside my neck, so the pressure was very low. And then four weeks of rehabilitation, and after four weeks, they say my 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 my, my physio say, okay. You can go to the gym and start training like before. So I go to the gym, I ask my friend, okay, I hold my guard like this and hit me on the head, you know. First of all, easy. One, two, three, okay, harder, harder, harder. Okay, I'm okay, nothing, I don't feel anything more. So we can train and, you know, do this fight. So now I'm, I don't feel anything. It's like, like before, I'd never have it, you know. So do you think it's anything you'll ever have to address in your career or is it just kind of a freak kind of moment kind of thing or will you need surgery at some point? I hope so, that was the only moment, but the doctor says we will see in future, you know. Because first, first of all they say maybe we're going to have to do surgery, we're going to see how the medicine works and rehabilitation, but I was lucky rehabilitation works really good. But they say you have to be, I, I do rehabilitation all the time on this, you know. I go to physio, he do some specific, he do something with my neck. I, they've got the, 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 the things <laughs> to doing that and uh, I cannot forget about this. Uh, but they say maybe in future you're gonna have to do some surgery, but for now it's it's perfect. We'll talk about your preparation for Alexander. I mean, knowing that you had two months, did you did you change anything, make any adjustments in your preparation, or you just kind of pick up where you left off? Well, I just start, you know, uh, start my camp like like always. Small details we do, we change small details. We know we have to find good sparring partners with size and similar style to to to, to Alexander, and that's it, you know. Same, same, same shit every day. <laughs> I love it. You know, a lot of people are looking at this as kind of the, the old guard versus the new guard. You know, this new generation of light heavyweights coming up. Is, is that how you're kind of looking at it as well? Like these are these young kids that are trying to take what I have? A little bit like this, but, you know, I've got, I have, you know, also uh, younger sparring partners to this fight. So I know how they move. Uh, I know what they feel. And I'm ready, you know, also for this. For this that he's, I think, 10 years old, uh, younger than me. You fought obviously the best in the world. Is there anything in particular that he does that you think is the best you've ever seen or concerns you the most, or is this just the next guy in line? You know, I'm this sport almost all my life, you know. Uh, I started training when I was nine years old, so I do this all my life, so I think I feel everything uh, inside the octagon and outside also. Uh, but we'll see, after the fight I will tell you. For sure he's, you know, very dynamic, very powerful guy, very big. So. He looks like that he's very strong, powerful kicks, so. But I think I feel it, you know, many times before, and nothing new for me. But I have to be ready. I, don't, I have a lot of respect to him, uh, because he's a great fighter, so it's going to be a tough fight, for sure. I'm, I, I have to be ready for a very tough fight. It's a big fight, of course. I mean, do you feel this is a number one contender fight? I mean, you win this, back to the title? First of all, I focus only about Saturday, yeah, but uh, it's like no normal way because I'm number one, he is number three. So who else? I don't see different, you know, next contender after this fight. Have you let yourself think about the Glover and Yuri fight at all, and how you think it might play out? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, if Glover will be in the same shape like uh, with me, he he take down uh, Yura and uh, finish fight on the ground. But you know, Yura is crazy fighter, weird style. 
you know, never know what he's gonna do. So I'm curious, you know, I'm fan of this sport, so I'm curious what, how, how this fight goes. So I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> Can I imagine that maybe you're cheering for Glover because that's who you'd want to fight? A little bit, yes, because I would like, you know, get the image with him and take the belt from his, uh, from his, you know, hands. And I hope so that after, if he defend the belt, uh, he will not go to the retire, you know, <laughs> who knows. Last thing for me, I guess, uh, knowing, you know, what's at stake here, what kind of fight do you think we see? I mean, can you go dominate early and, and finish him early? Or do you feel like, man, this might be one of those five round battles where you have to outlast him? <sighs> I you know that's gonna be a tough fight. He like fighting stand up me too, so that's gonna be you know his style and my style. It's gonna be like two trains, you know, hit together. So it's gonna be a tough fight. I don't think so. That's gonna be full distance, but I'm ready for full distance. But I think uh, the fight will uh, end earlier, second or third round, something like this. Jan, Jim Grease, Saber, MMA Weekly. I just have to ask you about your mindset because this is a sport where everything can be taken away so fast. You lose your belt, but then the injury, that had to be scary. You wonder for a minute, you know, what this could be, how long it could be. Can you talk about how maybe that might affect your mindset a little bit moving forward, just to kind of get that reminder of how lucky you are and how, what it takes to actually be at the top of a sport like this? You know, yeah, that, that is tough sport. You need to be ready mentally also. And uh, uh, now I've got support with that thing also. You know, I work with mental coach, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm ready mentally like never, I think so. Before, a before, uh, couple of years ago, I don't need it. But now, uh, when I sit one evening with my, with my fiance, she, she told to me, okay, maybe you should talk with somebody, you know, because, uh, because I think you need it. Uh, and say, why not? Okay, so I found, you know, uh, one very good mental coach. We start working together and it's worked very really good for me. So uh, you need to be focused about, you know, Cardio, power, technique, sparring session, also about, about the head. Uh, and I'm ready. How about your perspective and just kind of looking at where you are in your life and your career? How, how did that change when all that happened for you? You know, I, I just, I am more happy than ever, you know. She, she just opened my, my mind a little bit more uh, for this, what, what's happening around me, how to focus about the fight, how to, you know, don't think about different things, just look at about my, you know, target and that's it and uh, makes my life and preparation much easier. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jan, um, you had a Lego built for a big Lego. Yes, 80,000 pieces. How did that make you feel? Amazing, you know, when, when it was everybody, when it was a little kid, we play yeah, Lego, Lego. So when they called to me and they, hey, we want to build it, you're from Lego, say, so, yeah. Let's go, let's do it. It's amazing. So 80,000 pieces and still is it in, in Warsaw. So <laughs> that was amazing to see, you know, me, myself uh, pull it from Lego. Awesome. And then finally for me, um, on one of your last Instagram posts, you said something, you post a picture of you in, in a chess board saying some stuff. Are you, are you good at playing chess? Uh, after the fight, but you know, Ch chess, chess is also good for the strategy and for the mind. And this is game of the king, so you know. And I, 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 I want to be a king again. Gotcha. Thank you. Just one, Jan. Uh, most fighters have that hunger to get to the belt. They're striving. They're always. They're pushing themselves. And then sometimes we hear when fighters get to the top, the hunger goes away a little bit because they're at the top. They've reached the pinnacle. For you now. Is the hunger stronger because you've been to the top and you want to get back there? Or do you just feel that you just have much more to go for yourself that you strive yourself? Where's your hunger level? Yeah, my, my hunger level is much bigger than before I was the champion because I was the champion and now how it's feel. I know how to be the, do the best in the world and I want to feel it again much more than ever, you know? It's like, I don't know that you watch Lord of the Rings, that was Gollum who yeah. lose his the ring, the pressure. And I am like this golem, you know? The, the belt is my pressure, you know? <laughs> and I, I want to get it belt, the, the, the belt back, you know? It calls do, to you when you sleep? Uh, I sleep good, but anyway, you know, I see him in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you, best of luck. Thank you. Got it? Yeah? Thank you.